last tutorial, we learned how Euler's method can be used to solve first order differential equation. In the Euler's method, the interval length or the step size is kept small and the accuracy can be improved by reducing the step size. But as the step size is decreased, the computation time increases. So Euler's method is less efficient in practical problems since it requires h to be small for obtaining the reasonable accuracy. In this tutorial, we learn modified Euler's method, which is an improvement of the previous Euler's method. For the same step size, modified Euler's method gives the better approximation to the estimated values of y and so gives the better accuracy. This we'll demonstrate later in this video with the help of the example. So let us start with the modified Euler's method where we have to solve first order differential equations, say of this form with the initial condition given to us. And the problem is that we have to estimate the value of y say at 2.8 or it can be anything else. And if we are taking this differential equation, this is the same differential equation which we took in our last tutorial on the Euler's method and the exact solution of this differential equation is this. So if we have to solve this differential equation using modified Euler's method, these three equations are made use of. In the equation one, the value of x is updated and to the previous value of the x, the step size is added. In the second equation, if you compare it with the previous Euler's method, this is exactly the same equation. And if you look at the third equation, in the third equation again, we are estimating the value at the next coordinate that is xi plus 1 using this formula. And over here, if we look at this first term, here we are evaluating the function at the previous point xi, yi. And over here in the second term, we are evaluating the function at the new coordinate xi plus 1, comma the y value which we evaluated from the equation 2. And then we are multiplying this with the h by 2 factor. So these three equations are made use of in the modified Euler's method. Before going into the illustrative example, let us look at the physical significance of this term. This is nothing but this is equal to the slope at xi, yi. So in order to compute the value of y, at the next coordinate point xi plus 1, what we require, we require the slope at the previous point xi and yi for the equation number 2. Whereas in the third equation, this term is nothing but this is the slope at the previous point. And this is the slope at the current point. So we are adding the slopes at the previous point and the current point and then we are dividing it with the 2. So this is representing that we are taking the average of the slopes evaluated at the previous point and the current point when we are using the modified Euler's method. So this is just the geometrical interpretation of what exactly is done in the modified Euler's method. Now let us try to understand how this problem can be programmed using Scilab and how the accuracy is improved in this particular method. So this is the program which is illustrating how first order differential equation with a given initial condition can be solved using modified Euler's method. And we are taking a specific case over here where we are solving this particular equation. Again, the method will remain same. First of all, we have to use the function definition. And in the function definition, we have to give the differential equation which we are solving. So it is exactly same what we did in the previous tutorial on the Euler's method. Second thing is that we have to give the initial condition. Third is where we have to estimate the value of y and then the step size. Then we are storing the initial condition in the array x and y respectively and we are computing the number of intervals using the same formula which we used in the previous tutorial. So if you do not understand anything, then you can watch the previous tutorial on the Euler's method. There everything was explained in detail. Then we have to use the for loop and the for loop will use the three equations. Equation number one is this one. Equation number two is this one. And equation number three is this one. 
So the computation will be done and the value of y will be estimated for all the possible iterations. Then again, we are plotting the estimated values of y using the plot 2D command. Once it is done, then we have to compare the estimated results with the exact one. So we are using the variable yx, which is storing the exact values of y for the different values of x. Then again, we'll be plotting the curve now between the exact values of y versus x using the continuous curve because we are passing the positive integer. And finally, we'll be displaying the result in the tabular form. So now let us execute it and see what do we get. Here we are solving it for the step size 0.1. So on execution, we see that the value of y at x equal to 3 is this last row. So we have to focus on this result, the last row result, because we had to estimate the value of y at x equal to 3. So this value over here is nothing but this is the value which we have got from the Euler's formula. This third column value is the values of y using the modified Euler's method. Third one is the exact value. Fourth one is the error between the exact and the Euler's formula. And the last one is the error between the modified Euler's method and the exact value. So we, if we compare the error in the Euler's method and the modified Euler's method, it is quite clear that the error in the modified Euler's method is less in comparison to the Euler's method. So the accuracy has been improved in the modified Euler's method. If we reduce, say, or if we increase this, say, the step size, you can play with the step size. And depending upon how much accuracy you want, you can adjust the step size. So again, executing it for h equal to 0.5, let us see what do we get. So here now the error, let us focus on these two errors. This error is for the Euler's method and this is for the modified Euler's method. So for the modified Euler's method, again, the error is less. 